Hi everyone, it's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And I sell all of the products that I share with you. Oh, I see there's a really nice glare there. I do apologize. So today we are going to be creating this beautiful card using the Humming Along stamp set here along with the hummingbird framelits dies and i have also paired it with the uh, layered leaves embossing folder and the rectangle stitched framelits dies all of these are available in my online store and um, as always this will be posted to my blog on saturday April the uh, 13th. Today is Thursday, April the 11th. So um, today I am using something I haven't done and used in quite a while and that is my watercolor pencils. So when you uh, join in, please say hello. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, I'd always love to hear where the uh, people who are watching um, are from. And if you are watching this later on YouTube, this it is the uh, no longer live, it is the recording. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have not already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, please uh, give me some thumbs up, some love. Um, uh, Facebook really does like that and it helps me to reach more people. Share my video, uh, sharing is caring. And last week I had the All Adorned stamp set here. That was a celebration item and uh, that was April 4th. So it was ev everybody that commented and shared, uh, including um, YouTube. You must be a Canadian resident to receive product from me. Stephanie was the lucky winner of that, so I will be getting in touch with Stephanie for that. Um, if you are from another country, I would happily send you some handmade cards as a thank you for uh, sharing my video. Um, before we get started, one last thing. My Lola is uh, not feeling well today. She uh, had another seizure this morning. She had one on Tuesday night right after class, and she had another one this morning. Uh, so she's not feeling well, so she is very vocal and very needy today. So I am going to... Um, not be on here too awful long so that I can tend to her. She is going to be 15 next month. So um, she is an old girl and we like to make sure she is comfortable. So to get started, I am using Stays On, uh, Jet Black Stays On ink for um, stamping because when you're water coloring, um, with um, your aqua painters or your pencil crayons and your blender pens um, you need stays on ink so um, that it doesn't bleed if you're coloring with memento or sorry if you're coloring with your stamp and blends you need memento ink to stamp first so these are the colors that I am using today and I do apologize Lola is barking in the background. Um, so I'm using Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Real Red, and Early Espresso. And you'll be thinking, what? Early Espresso? But as you can see, just um, a bit on the breast and the ends of the feathers is where I use the Early Espresso very, very lightly. And I've stamped this already on shimmer white cardstock, if you can see that. When you are uh, water coloring, you, it's best to use either shimmery white or um, watercolor paper. So I am going to start with the uh, Daffodil Delight and I'm just going to color in 
the beak. I googled what a hummingbird looks like and they come in all different colors. So now I'm coming in with some melon mambo. I mixed my melon mambo and my real red to give it a bit of a different color because I didn't want I didn't want a flat color. I wanted it to really look bright and unique. So that's why I came in with both of those and I'm starting at the top with it darker up near the eye, going down to lighter towards the breast. And then this is my real red and I'm just going over the throat area here with it. And I'm coloring in little circles. It was snowing and a bit of uh, sleet here this morning, quite chilly. Okay, move that to the side. Now I'm going to come with just this, you color the early espresso very, very lightly. Um, with uh, this watercolor pencil because I just want it to be a very light brown. I don't want it to be dark at all. And then I'm going to come in at the tips here. And as you can see, I'm barely giving it any color whatsoever. I just wanted just that little variance on the uh, very tips. I didn't want it to be all that one shade. Do you have fur babies or have you had fur babies in your life? We have always, always had fur babies and seeing them get older and their health fail a bit is always so difficult. And when I color, I do little circles. And I come in first with it lighter and then I can go in afterwards and darken that color up. In the different areas that I want. Now this weekend is the big on stage for Stampin' Up! all over the world. I am not going. This, uh, the one on this side of Canada that I live on is in um, Quebec and I am not going. That is 10 hours away from me. So um, the timing just wasn't wasn't right for me to go to this one. So I will be living vicariously through my friends as they post online all of the fabulous new products that will be coming out uh, to us demonstrators and our customers. As a demonstrator, I can uh, order come May the 2nd, I believe it is, that the demonstrators can pre-order. If you go to on stage, you get to pre-order um, the product purchase premiere, it's called. And you get to do that right away. That's one of the perks of attending a live event. And attending the live events is always so much fun. Um, 
you get to connect with demonstrators from all over the world, make really great lasting friendships with other like-minded crafters. And then when you do attend the live events, you get to meet meet people that you've become friends with online. You get to actually see them in person and give them a real hug instead of a virtual one. So I'm just going over the areas here now to add a bit more color to darken that up. And when you're watercoloring, every time you do it, it's going to look different because you're going to each time add different pressure, different amounts of color. Okay, so now I'm going to take my blender pen and I'm going to blend out my uh, colors. And I'm not seeing any of my comments. I don't know what's going on with my with my iPad. It's not, there we go. All of a sudden they've popped up. So hi, Stephanie, yay, you won. Yay, yay, yay for you. Um, and my comments have disappeared again. Um, Linda Perna, hi from New Jersey. How are you today? Okay, so my blender pen here, it's got the two different ends and you use a paper towel or a tissue beside to clean up any of the ink that's on the tip. Now this is stained, but you can see when I wipe that, there is nothing on there. So I am gonna start and just blend out that beak. And you can see that little bit of color there and then when I do that there's nothing. I like to blend out my colors. Some people like the look of the um, pencil lines but personally I prefer a bit of a smoother look to my colored images so I'm just going to And I turn my, my uh, project that I'm working on so that I've got better access to the different areas. And then I'm just going to bring that red up here into that melon mambo and blend that out a bit more. This is my hummingbird, so it can be whatever color I choose. Okay, wipe that off. And now I'm going to come in with my blender pen where my early espresso is. And it's just giving that soft beige look so that those feathers right there aren't that pristine white look. And then that slight line is just giving it like a shadow there on that breast of the bird. Okay, now I'm gonna turn that and I'm gonna start at the beak and work my way back. I find too that once you bring your blender pen in, it uh, brightens that color up. And you could also use a aqua painter if you choose to blend out that color or a paintbrush with a bit of water. And before I bring that to the end, I'm just gonna come in here and make sure all of my Bermuda is blend it out and then I'm going to lightly take that and bring that to the
tip and then just blend that And then later on, if you wanted, you could come back in and add highlights of color here and there. But I think I like that. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm just moving down my project. There's no right or way, wrong way to color, in my opinion. It is your piece of art, so you do what makes you happy. That's what it's all about, isn't it? And now I'm just coming in to blend that espresso in those tips and as you can see I'm not as light I'm not as dark here the color is lighter so it's not as vibrant as it is up on the head area of my bird Now, I had sent out an email this morning to all of my email subscribers. Uh, the way you subscribe to my emails is to go to my blog, www.stampinwithmarcy.com, and click on the subscribe to my newsletter, <clears throat> excuse me, button at the side. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And... Um, sign up to get my newsletter and I posted this morning <clears throat> about the um, our trimmer is uh, being discontinued uh, we've been having issues uh, so Stampin' Up! has decided to discontinue it and we will not have a trimmer in the new catalog. One will be coming, we're just not sure when, but uh, Stampin' Up! wants to continue to provide the best products that um, we can to paper crafters. So they have discontinued the trimmer that we have right now. The only thing you can purchase right now is extra blades. So if you have the trimmer... I would um, suggest you right away purchase more of the cutting blades so that you can keep going for a while longer. I have done that uh, myself. I've uh, placed an order and uh, gotten a few extra packages because I love my trimmer, but I do understand Stampin' Up's um, opinion on discontinuing it and um, looking for other solutions um, to... Uh, provide us with a better trimmer in the future. So here is my bird. Now I've got one more thing to do. As you can see, this bird here is a lot darker than my original. Like I said, each time you do it, it's gonna be a little different. So the one more thing I'm going to do is, you know me, I like my sparkle. So I'm taking my Wink of Stella and I am going over the throat and the face and adding that sparkle that I love. Because when I see hummingbirds out in my flower garden, they always have a bit of sparkle. Now you can see right there, I have wiped off. This will pick up your ink as well. So you wanna just make sure that you clean that end off so that way you can uh, be assured that you're not going to transfer that 
whatever color that was that it's picked up, you're not gonna transfer it onto your next project. So I'm gonna take my framelit here and I'm just gonna take it to my big shot and I am going to trim that out just like that. So just move off camera for a second here. Now, our big shot is retiring as well. The, um, sadly, my, my email this morning said to be purchasing more of the clear uh, standard cutting pads to um, have on hand. Well, they have sold out. Since I sent that email this morning, they are now gone. So hopefully you have enough, if you've got a big shot, you've got enough um, to last for quite a while. They do last a very long time. I had ordered a couple extra sets because I run classes, so I wanted to make sure that they la I had enough to last me a while because we're not sure when the new um, die cutting embossing machine we're not sure when we're going to get another one stampin up is looking into it um so rest assured when we do know i will be letting you guys know right away but in the meantime i'm going to be continuing to use my big shot for all my die cutting and embossing needs so here's my uh, hummingbird die cut out so I am just going to, now, I'm going to take my rectangle stitched. And I'm going to bring in, because I'm using, I used the uh, stays on, I'm going to use that for my sentiment as well. Because... I want the black to be the exact same. And I, as always, I always flip it over and look to make sure I've got even coverage. Okay. And because I know that I want my hummingbird is going to be attached to the side of it like that, I know that I need to make sure that I have stamped my sentiment over. I'm just going to have to get up to, I need to stamp it over as far to the right side as possible. Give it a second for that ink to transfer and there you go. Lovely. Now when you're using your stays on ink, you need to use the stays on cleaner to take that off of your uh, stamps. Just using your chamois will not uh, take that off. So it's just a smidge off, but that's okay. So now I'm going to take my thick Whisper White card base, my bone folder, and... I'm just going to fold, burnish, and I will, at the end, I will go through and see all of the um, comments and I will respond. Like I said, my iPad is not showing me any comments at all. So I cannot see what you are saying to me. I do apologize. Okay, so I've brought my silicone craft sheet in and my liquid glue here. So now I'm going to grab some dimensionals here and I'm 
going to first off I'm going to attach I'm going to put a bit of my liquid glue on my hummingbird on his chest here just a little bit so that I know we're about to be attaching it to my card front because if I was to take my sentiment and put it right on my card front and then not have if I centered it my hummingbird is going to be hanging off so I wanted to make sure that I had those dimensionals on first so that way I could uh or the sorry the glue the hummingbird glued on first so that I could be sure that I've given myself enough room so and I'm just using some of my mini the baby dimensionals here to put on the tips of those wings and then one there right by the uh, beak. I cannot wait to be able to see hummingbirds flying around. I saw the Saw a couple in Arizona, that was cool. They were in the cedar trees and I didn't quite understand what they were going for in there because here in Ontario, they uh, you only see them at flowers. So I don't know what, if there was a berry in the tree So I like to use all of my dimensionals. So I take and snip up all those outside pieces. So that way it goes as far as possible. Bring this back in. Taking all of my backing off. Now the retiring list will be released Monday at uh, Monday, April the 15th at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. That's um, Utah where Stampin' Up! is. So I will be sending out an email to all of my subscribers to post that retirement list. So that way you're aware what is retiring. And in the meantime, I would suggest that you purchase, don't wait, maybe purchase what you um, have been having on your list for some time now and haven't gotten around to getting it. I would maybe purchase it now before the retiring list comes out because once it comes out, things go so super fast. Think about uh, like Black Friday shopping, how crazy it can be. And when they just announced the other day, Tuesday, two days ago, about the trimmer and the big shot, we have already sold out of a few different um, things for them. So it is always a good idea to not wait and get what you want right off the get-go. Okay, so I'm going ahead and placing three dots of my liquid glue right off the start here. I always like to do that to attach my pearls or my uh, rhinestones, any little embellishments, because that way I know it's going to, the card is going to arrive at the recipient's door with everything still intact because you just never know how it's going to survive the mail. Okay, so let me just put that lid back on that so I don't poke myself. Put those to the side. So here is my beautiful card. Here is the original and here is the one I did for you today. And before 
before I go, I want to say this week's uh, comment and share is two packages of the pearlized doilies. So um, everybody that uh, shares and comments shared on this um, on this post will get entered into the draw to win these two from me. You can be anywhere in Canada and I will mail these out to you if you are the lucky winner. So please comment and share my video. And I also wanted to let you know that the uh, sales for the storage by Stampin' Up are going strong and the open storage cube has already sold out of what they had to start. Um, they had a three month supply and in one week that was sold out, one week. And I also am going to lo loosen up my um, my camera here to flip it around to show you the Stampin' Blends storage tray. You get five plastic trays um, that each one holds six Stampin' Blend markers, and they come they're stacked together. And then you they're nineteen dollars, and then you would purchase the storage lid for four dollars extra. So let me just show you what I have with mine. I'm just gonna loosen this up and I'm gonna flip. All right, so here is my desk the way it is right now. So as you can see, move this out of the way. This is my Stampin' Blends storage. Well, I have a couple extra rows here. These are just my extra ones here, but my spritzers, as you can see, this is my champagne mist. My spritzers, my aqua painters, my Wink of Stella, my blender pens. They all fit perfectly in here. So besides your stamp and blends, it's perfect to have a couple extra. So if you've only got a couple sets of Stampin' Blends and you're thinking, well, I don't need five of these. Actually, these are quite handy because extra things fit in there. And also, my, if you can see here, all of my ink pads and my markers are here. I took my watercolor pencils and I took them out of the, the, um, cardboard box that they come in and I have my coordinating colors sitting right in here. They fit right beside quite nicely just like that and that way I can see them and I think about oh you know what why don't I pull out my um, my pencil crayons my watercolor pencil crayons and start using them. Isn't that fabulous? that all of my coloring tools as well as my additional tools and that fit right here right in front of me just fabulous and as you can see the empty storage one this is where i keep my over here i have my stays on and my versamark and my memento and then right in front of me here, because these are the old style um, ink pads. So I've got my old style ink pads in here because yes, they kind of fit, but they're too tight in here. So it pulls it apart. So these are the colors that are retiring. Tranquil Tide, Lemon Lime Twist, Fresh Fig, Powder Pink, and Berry Burst. These are retiring. So um, if you have the ink pad and love it, I would highly suggest that today you go online and you get that re-inker to make sure that your ink pad is going to last you any um, cardstock or ribbon or embellishments that come in those colors. If you love them, I would suggest that you um, 
stock up on what you need for it. So I'm just gonna flip you back down around here. Tighten you back up. Hopefully that uh, didn't make anybody dizzy or anything like that. Okay, so um, I have this is on my on my um, April first blog post, or if you um, email me, I can um, mail that off to you. Email that off to you. Um, it's got all the codes, and then there's a second sheet which is the configuration chart, which um, you use to figure out how many of each of these trays in that do you need. So that is all for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will uh, see you next Thursday. Oh, I do have one more thing to tell you. I have a class on Saturday, April the 27th. I called it Spring Fling and there are a couple more spots available so this is the one project that um, you can choose to make it is a spring sampler I made this um, goodness I made this back the beginning of March I believe um, it's been quite a while so uh, but I knew I wanted to have it as a class so this sampler is part of that class on the Saturday. You can either choose a 10 a.m. spot or 1 p.m. spot. So this, to create this sampler, is $20 uh, without the frame. Or 37 includes the gorgeous Fable Friends stamp set that the... Um, squirrel, the ducklings, the mother goose, and the um, bunny are in. So that is the one project that you can choose and there will be written instructions. And the other, now these are in plastic sleeves because hopefully it's not too glary on you because I have them set up in my classroom and I don't want people to get ink all over them. So these are the four cards that uh, are the other class that you can choose to take that day. Uh, the uh, sweetest thing is the stamp set. So the cost of this is $34 to create these cards here. Or, uh, and that $34 includes the stamp set or you can uh, pay $76 and that is the bundle. So that is the Sweetest Thing stamp set and the coordinating framelits die so that you can recreate these yourself at home. And there will be written instructions with photographs for each one of these projects. This gorgeous card here, I cased from a Austrian demonstrator, Manuela Giza. I believe is how you say her name. I just thought it was absolutely stunning and I had to recreate that. But I've also got a fun shaker card, um, a sparkly card with our um, glimmer paper, and then we've got some embossing on this one. So these are the cards. So you can choose either or the spring sampler or the cards or you can um, purchase them all so let me know by Monday April 15th as I will need to get that order placed so it is here in time I will put it as a class on my Facebook page as well so that class is Saturday April 27th at 10 a.m. or at 1 p.m. And again, it's $20 for the spring sampler. Um, or 37 includes the stamp set. And um, $34 for the cards with the stamp set. Or 76 is the price with the bundle. 
So that now is everything for you for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you next Thursday at 1 p.m. Bye for now.